Welcome back, Legendary Potato here. Today I'm going to be going over the quick mods features for the Universal Minecraft Editor and show you guys what you can do with them. As of the release of 1.0.6, I'm going to show you guys exactly what you can do with them. So anyways, to start, I'm going to open a Minecraft Xbox 360 world and demonstrate each of these here in this world. So to start, I'm going to locate my player and go to my inventory. As you can see here, I have some modded items such as barrier blocks, spawners, eggs, and more. So as you can see, I can kind of do what I'd like with this. Here I also have enchanted swords, which I'm going to touch up and show you guys the quick mods with these as well. So let's start off with enchanting items. If we go ahead and right click on our sword, it gives us an option to enchant. So if I want to throw on some random enchantment, I can just go to here and it gives me an option to go ahead and do this. As you can see, it gives me options for choosing enchantments that I'd like without having to know the ID numbers of that enchantment. So if I want to throw fire aspect on my sword, I can just go ahead and click it like that and then put on whatever level I'd like. I'm happy with level one, but if I wanted to max out my enchantment, I can max it out with the max out button and it puts the maximum value that can be accepted in the game. As you can see, it's automatically added into the NBT data, so I already know right away that it works, updated in real time. You can add as many as you like, you can just go ahead and add more. As you can see, you can just change the enchantment. If I want to put on not back, I can do the same thing and put on maximum value, for example, and it adds it right away. Next we have display name quick mod, which allows us to change the name of the item without having to use an anvil, so it makes it more convenient when you're doing it in modding, and I can just do it from there, and it automatically renames it right there as so, and indicates it in real time. The last quick mod for items is change item. So if I want to quickly change the item, so let's say I want to change the sword into something like a shovel or some other really random item like wheat, for example, I can go ahead and do it without a problem. I can change the counts. So if I want to change it to 64 and have a full stack of it, I can do it like so and as well change the damage value. Although there are no damage values for wheat, I do not need to change it. But if I had something like wool, I can change the damage value right from there. Moving on from there, we're going to go to the Entities Quick Mods, which are only one at the moment. So we're going to go to Chunk 00, where we have a Villager. So we can do two things with this Villager. So I'm going to show you guys the Potion Effects. As you can see here, we can add a Potion Effect to our Villager. So if we want to add something like Speed or any other Potion Effect, we can do that without a problem. So I'm going to go give my Villager Invisibility, so you don't have to look at him. And then I'm going to give him Amplifier of 1 and duration of 5000. This will be game ticks, so you have to divide out the number of game ticks into real time to understand exactly what time that would actually be. Uh, just keep in mind that every game tick is 20 in real time. Similar to before, you can also add multiple potion effects at the same time just by selecting a different one and doing the same as before. So let's say we want to give him speed, then we can do the same thing as there. I can change the duration amplifier. So let's say I want to have speed 3. I can go ahead and change it and I can turn off particles if I would like to and check that as you can see it adds it just as that it also indicates what it looks like so what's great as well is that it actually converts your game ticks to real time so you can get an idea of exactly how long it's going to last so 5,000 game ticks here is going to last me four minutes and 10 seconds our last quick mod for today is custom villager trades so if we come down to edit trades it gives us a little option to change what our trades are going to be so these are default villager trades we don't want these so we're just going to delete each of these so right here gives us the default trade option of dirt to stone but by clicking on this we can just change it easily like this we don't need to know the IDs of anything we can just easily search it up and find what we're looking for so let's say I want to trade wood so I can go ahead and use oak wood planks like so click the check as well as change the count number if I want to so I'm going to change it to 32 we're going to make it so that you need 32 oak wood planks to trade in order to get we'll make this into a barrier so you need 32 for a barrier block. Now we have our own modded trade. You can also change the max uses. So I'm going to change it to 10,000 because that is the maximum value that can, you can do. You can also change it if you want it to reward XP or not. I'm going to make mine reward XP. And if you want your villager to not generate trades, you can just disable this and you will not generate any more trades after this. If you want to create more trades, you just do the same as before and repeat the process. If you want to make your trade free, you can set the count to zero. That way you'll only need to just click on the item without actually having to need it in order to get it for free. If you want to create an entirely free trade, just click on this item here, set the count to zero, and you're all set. 
Now every time you click on this trade, you'll get the item for free without having to have the item indicated. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. There's going to be more quick mods in the future, but these are just the ones that are currently out. Oprise is working hard to make sure they'll come out in the near future and the near update. So when those do come out, I'll be sure to show those off as well. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like on it and subscribe if you haven't already because I'm going to be doing lots more videos on this program. And if you want to see those, then make sure you do subscribe. Also, be sure to check out the program down in the description if you haven't yet, as well as the creator, Oprise LP. Anyways, that's all from me and I'll see you guys in the next video.